Luego sí son olivos cerebellar connections with the red nuclei before entering completely to the two pathways that are involved with the red nuclei. So we will begin in the oliva or the olivar nuclei, inferior olivar nuclei or olivary nuclei. This olivary nuclei is receiving information from the spinal cord, but also from red nuclei. Now, this circuit will be here between the oliva and the red nuclei. So, we are beginning like, like this. Um, the the oliva uh, axons, or the axons of the neurons that are on the inferior olivary nucleus, these neurons will cross the ventral plane or the mid, uh, mid plane. This will enter now to the contralateral cerebellar cortex and they will enter as climbing fibers. Climbing fibers. So the climbing fibers go directly to Purkinje cells but also to the in deep nuclei. Deep nuclei, here we are talking about the dentate nuclei. So, they will go to the dentate nucleus and now this was through the inferior cerebellar peduncles. Now through the superior cerebellar peduncles they will go out and they will decusate. They will decusate in the decusation of the uh, superior cerebellar peduncles and this tract is called the dentato, dentato rubro thalamic because this goes to the red nucleus and to the thalamus. Here we will not see the thalamus. Actually, this pathway we, we see it in conjunction with the thalamus, but here I just want you to see the circuit. So, this is a short video. Here, from the red nuclei, they go back to the oliva. And so we have this circuit. We can begin in the inferior olivary nucleus with information from the spinal cord, red nucleus, tegmental uh, area, etc. Then uh, they decusate, the axons decusate are climbing fibers that enter through the inferior cerebral peduncle, cerebral, cerebral cortex, the inter nucleus, axons go through the superior cerebral peduncle, they cross the other side and they form the dentato rubrotalamic that goes to the red nucleus and from the red nucleus to the inferior olivary nucleus.